guys, Jenny from Project Mommy here again with a new project. Today we're gonna to be working on this super cute French Provincial desk. Um, the reason I wanted to do this one was it was in pretty rough shape. A lot of dents, scratches, missing pieces, um, and even water damage on some of the drawers. This is also a particle board piece. This is not real wood. So I'm gonna show you how you can turn this around and pretty much turn any particle board piece into something beautiful. So stay tuned. All right guys, so first step, we're just gonna be removing the hardware. On this particular piece, there are, the two top drawers have this little plastic design piece. I went ahead and scratched that completely and then I'm just gonna fill the holes with um, Bondo or wood filler later on in the video. Um, after I'm done taking the hardware off, I just wash it down with soapy water. Um, usually Dawn soap is my favorite and then re-rinse with just clean water. Um, here I'm going to start sanding it. I'm using an 80 grit sandpaper on this and this is the sand nets. It's not actually sandpaper, but it's called a sand net. I really like these just because they last a little bit longer. Um, if you're not used to working with particle board, however, I would not start with an 80 grit. I would start with maybe like a 120 or 180. Um, just take your time with it. You really don't want to sand too far down onto your furniture. All right guys, so here on this bottom drawer was probably the worst water damage um, of the whole piece. And here I'm just showing a close up of me sanding it down till it's smooth. Um, if you come to a point where you're pretty much at the particle board, use a little bit of Bondo or wood filler on top of that and then sand softly with like a 220 grit, um, just so you get a little bit extra protection and you don't get any further water damage. Um, here I'm just mixing my Bondo. I'm also using it on the top because there was a pretty big dent and then a few smaller dents. So I am just going to fill those in with the Bondo and then I will sand over that to smooth it out with a 220 grit sandpaper. So with any particle board pieces, I use the best um, primer that I can use. This is the Kills Heavy Duty. Um, this is really good for any kind of mold or water damage um, or any stinky furniture. If you happen to get that, it happens sometimes. Um, I use about three coats total for anything that has particle board just to be safe, just so there's no further damage to the furniture.
Alright guys, so now on to the paint. I am using Melange paint in the color Bikini Pink. Um, this is my first time using their product and I am absolutely in love. This stuff is so smooth. Um, I did not have to water it down. It was like the perfect consistency for this piece of furniture and it seriously went on like butter. It was so, so smooth and so easy. I had no drips, no streaks, nothing. This thing was absolutely beautiful. Um, I did a total of two coats with this, which is crazy because normally with kind of darker paints, I have to usually have to do about three coats. This one, two coats was like perfect. So guys, if you haven't used their product before, I totally recommend it. So my next step here, I'm just drilling holes on the top two drawers. I'm going to put just a single knob on each one of them. I like to drill the holes before I put on my poly um, or my furniture wax, just so that it's kind of like a smoother finish. All right, so the last step is applying my furniture wax. I'm using the Chalk Mountain Lavender Wax. Um, this is kind of my new go-to. It smells great, it goes on great. Um, it's, it's one of my favorites now. Um, so with their wax, you just apply it, give it about 10 minutes, then you're going to take a microfiber cloth and just wipe it off. Um, I sometimes will do two coats, so I'll apply a coat, wipe it off, wait about an hour, apply another coat, and then wipe it off um, just to give it a strong durability. Um, if I know it's a piece that's going to be used a lot, especially like the tops of dressers or desks. guys so now that your piece has completely dried we're gonna add the hardware um, with this desk I kept the original hardware I just painted it in a pure gold by rust-oleum and then put a coating of polyurethane on top just to keep it durable and strong And 
and here's the finished product. Um, I actually love this color and I love how everything came out. Um, if you guys ever have any questions, again, on furniture flipping, any tips that you need, any questions that you have, feel free to leave comments down below and I will see you in the next video.